I'm in the George. And your name is again? David. David. So this is David. He's just bought me a fantastic little pint. And, uh, cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Kevin. Cheers, David. Thank you very much. This, uh, this drink is uh, for me, for you, okay? Oh, look at that. See, so the great things about doing this job is lovely people like David. Hello. They buy me a drink. Yeah. Well. David, he's in the George. Welcome, everybody, come to George. And the, 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 the Tower Bridge. Tower Bridge. Yeah, number 40, Tower Bridge. Tower Bridge. SE140R. Thank you. Thank you, David. Thank, Thank you, everybody. David. God bless you. What do you want me to say? Huh? Beautiful summer's day, lovely pint, beautiful beer garden. I'm in the George between Tower Hill and Bermondsey today. And what a lovely boozer this is. Um, Dave the barman welcomed me, and what a lovely welcoming I got as well. If you're ever in Bermondsey, Tower Hill, definitely check this place out. £3.90 a pint. I mean, for London prices, that is a bargain. And it is a lovely little boozer, so yeah. To the George in Tower Hill near Bermondsey. On the way to what this video about is about today is pie and mash. And today I'm heading to Manzi's pie and mash shop in uh, in Bermondsey Tower Hill between the two. I don't exactly know what pinpoint this area is, but it's, it's in that sort of area. And apparently this is the oldest pie and mash shop in London still surviving. Now when I say pie and mash, to us country people, pie and mash is beef and ale pie, steak and kidney pie, um, minced beef and onion pie, mashed potato. Typical, isn't it? Hey? Fire engines everywhere. We're in London, that's the way it is. So, to us country people, pie and mash, beef and onion pie, steak and ale pie, steak and kidney pie, you know, mashed potato and a bit of brown gravy. Uh, probably some peas chucked in for good measure. But in London, pie and mash is a completely different ball game. To a Londoner, pie and mash is what we're going to have today. And it's, well, keep watching and more will be revealed. But basically, it's a pie made with two different kinds of pastries, minced meat in the middle, um, liquor, which is a white gravy made of parsley, flour, and eel juice. Used to be eel juice, but I think they've changed that now because they don't cook enough eels to put in to make enough juice to go in in the pies, so they use chicken stock or something like that. But originally it was Peter made with the with the eel juice, and uh, yeah, obviously after that they got jellied eels, which is also a very traditional London delicacy. So today, you know, I'm not here to get drunk in the George. Uh, very appropriate name that is, by the way, because my second name. Not a lot of people know that. But this is the George in uh, in Bermondsey and it's a fantastic little booze. If ever you're you know, heading this way, or if you're going to go to Manzi's Pie and Mash shop, stop in here. Uh, David, fantastic barman, what a lovely welcome. I love that when you get a really good welcoming, you know. It, it says a lot about a place. So yeah, I'm not here to get drunk in the George, um, intoxicated, should I say. I'm here to make this Pie and Mash video. I've never tried Pie and Mash before in my life. I've heard people rave about it, and I've always wanted to try it for that exact reason. I'm a chef, I love food, and it's apparently an acquired taste, so I don't know how, how to really rate this, and uh, I'm gonna try it and see how I get on. But I'm gonna have it anyway. So uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Just hit that subscribe button, ring the little notification bell next to it, and you will get notified every time I bring out one of these fantastic, useful videos. Um, and it also helps my channel, really helps my channel, and helps me to bring you these videos. So yeah, if you could subscribe, really appreciate it. Thank you very much. But without further ado, and before I get too intoxicated, let's go and check out Manzi's Pie and Mash shop and see what they're all raving about. I am so excited about this one. Looking forward to this. Nice.
Hi, how you doing? Hiya. Do I just grab a seat anywhere? Sorry? Do I just grab a seat anywhere? You right here, my love. Hi, Okay, no problem at all. So, man's is pine mash in Wormans. What's this area known as? Bermondsey. Bermondsey. In Bermondsey, towards Tower Hill. This is the oldest pine mash shop still um, serving pine mash in London. And it's really basic. So, I mean, that's my knife and fork. Wrapped up in an old paper bag. Fantastic. I like it rough and ready. And is my pie mash. Have a look at this. Spoon. So pie mash this is the first time I've ever tried pie mash in my life. I'm a country boy. I'm used to a brown gravy and a steak and ale pie, but this is London pie mash. And well, as they say. The proof of the pudding is in the tasting. Just had my first pie and mash in uh, Manzi's pie and mash shop, which is the oldest pie and mash shop in London, still serving pie and mash. Um, my opinion, okay, it cost me five pound eighty. 
you see that, £5.80, which is a fair price, you know, it's not going to break the bank. Um, what did I think of it? Well, I've got to be careful what I say here because this is a very old traditional pie um, an acquired taste by Londoners. Uh, the original liquor was made with eel juice, so it probably had a little bit of a different flavour. Um, you need to put salt and vinegar on it. I found it very, very bland, but you know, maybe that's the way it's meant to be, and I'm not going to change that. You know, why reinvent the meal, reinvent the wheel? If you know, if that's if that's what it's meant to taste like, then that's what it's meant to taste like. And uh, I'm not going to change that. Um, personally, I wouldn't be rushing back for another one. Um, not because of Manzi's pie mash, they make it to perfection. Um, it's just because it's not really my kind of thing. I, I'm not a Londoner, I'm a country boy. Give me a steak and ale pie or a, a steak and kiddie pie or a beef and onion pie, you know, with gravy. Uh, that's more my kind of thing. It doesn't make Manzi's a bad place. It holds so much nostalgia. I mean, this is, you know, one of the businesses in London that has been going since 1902. So you've got to take your hat off. And no matter what I say, they must be doing something right for it to be um, to be carrying on all this time. Uh, it is an acquired taste by people who've grown up with pie and mash, and the Londoners swear by it. And fair play to them. Future generations, I don't know how much longer pie and mash will, will, will carry on going. I hope it stays because you know it is part of London's nostalgia and it is part of um, culture. And pie and mash is very much London culture. So, yeah, there's not a lot else I can say about that. Um, it's not my cup of tea, not what I wanted to taste, but I'm not a Londoner. But to the average Londoner, and I saw people in there thoroughly enjoying the meal. So, you know, half a dozen one, six of the other. Um, if you fancy pie and mash, if you're a Londoner and you grew up on pie and mash, then yeah, go ahead, have a go. Go and have a try. Uh, you couldn't ask for a better pie and mash. That's the authentic recipes they use. And uh, it's, 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 it's original pie and mash shop, Manzi's, which is supposed to be the best pie and mash shop. And uh, yeah, go and try it out. Uh, I personally, what would I rate it between 1 and 10? And this is going to be a little bit biased and unfair. I'm going to give it 6. And I'm going to give it 6 because of the nostalgia more, nostalgia more than anything else. Because as far as the taste is concerned, I found it very, very bland. Um, yeah, I can see why it was popular in its time because it is very filling. And for a cheap meal, it certainly did the trick uh, for the poor, for someone poor trying to get a quick meal and fill them up for the day. I can exactly see where it's coming from. But as far as 2021 is concerned and um, having something that not only tantalizes the taste buds but also satisfies you, I've got to give it a six I'm afraid. I'm so sorry because uh, it's a lovely little restaurant, lovely people, very nice welcoming um, and everything else. But yeah. It's an acquired taste. Please do go and try it. Don't let me put you off the off, off Manzies because uh, I respect you know they've been going so long and I totally respect them. And uh, yeah, this is Chef's Travels. I'm Kevin Harrington. Hopefully see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.